Yeah, good day. Here we have a, um, a saucer chair, a rattan saucer chair. It's um, fairly dilapidated in the sense that it's been well weathered, it's been left outside, and all the old varnish that was on there is just flaking off and it's pretty rough. And uh, so, what we're going to do is um, have this stripped first, professionally stripped, and that way it's a lot easier. I mean, you can use a sandpaper and a scraper, but um, to have this dipped uh, will come up really clean and, and uh, it will remove without any damage to, this, to the uh, natural rattan. So first thing we're going to do is take off all the old bindings um, so that it's easier for the stripper to get in place uh, or the chemicals to actually take effect of removing all the old varnish. So remove all of these old bindings. I don't think I need to show you that. That would be fairly straightforward. Just get a staining knife or, and cut. Most of this is just coming off in the hand. Remove all those old bindings. And um, of course you can see at the bottom here, this whole frame has been poured around, so uh, bits and pieces hanging out oh, everywhere. I'm going to show you step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how we're going to replace this cane. Secure the base, which is fairly straightforward. Do all the bindings and uh, make this a much more presentable chair. Uh, here you see me uh, removing all the old bindings. I mean, some of them are quite in good order, but um, as I said before, to get a nice finish uh, with the stripping, which all the stripping will actually get right in behind some of these bindings. So if you remove that first, it's easy to replace uh, with new bindings. Um, the only negative thing about this, it does create a lot of mess, especially this is so dirty. And um, my wife will kill me when I get home because I'm actually wearing a white T-shirt. And um, yeah, and you can see I'm getting pretty mucky with this. So um, I'm a very very naughty boy, but. Life goes on. So here's a close-up of um, the cane. You can see it's, the colour's pretty good now, um, but uh, we're going to sand this down a little bit, as I said before, and do the bindings. But first of all, we've got this frame here, which has completely been uh, destroyed. Um, but provided the ends of these pieces here are sound, which they are, uh, including that one, and what we do is the only one that's broken a little bit is here. It's um, a little bit split there, but effectively we should be able to glue the back and salvage it. So let's keep the original bit of cane. And uh, this one here is a bit, it has these pieces haven't actually been stripped. So we're going to do that by hand. There's a natural skin on there. So remove the nails and we're going to clean them all up. Someone's got to do it. That's it. All done. All done. Thank goodness. Now I think I'll go and have a nice cup of tea. Deserve it. Okay, now before we get carried away and um, with the repairs, what we're going to do is uh, give it a good coat of oil first. So now that we've sanded it back, if we give it a nice coat of uh, bio wood oil, which is the stuff I mix up myself, um, you can get it on the website incidentally. Just look out for bio wood oil. Um, I'll give it one good coat of this and uh, you'll find it will uh, obviously bring the colour up and then we'll do the binding a little bit later and give it another coat then. So uh, here's the oil that I'm using and um, just mix it all up and uh, get a good brush and uh, we'll show you what sort of result we get. Brush on quite sparingly, work it well into all the cane and, uh, and allow just a couple of minutes after you've done it and then wipe it off with a dry clean cloth. Looking good. Just one coat, look at that. Amazing stuff. It's like nectar to the gods. This, this is beautiful. I love it. So just, just buff it up a little bit. It'll lose some of its shine and it'll dry out first coat, but uh, lovely, isn't it? Great, look at the colour in it. Mm. 
was only one coat. It's amazing stuff. Okay, let's keep going. How about that? Isn't that great? Look at the difference already. The back bit's done, and uh, obviously the seat part isn't, but this is just great. I, I mean, uh, you can apply this to any other cane furniture. And then it's got the skin still on it like that, you, and it looks a bit grubby, and um, you've managed to clean it up a bit. Um, you put a couple of coats of oil on it and uh, it rejuvenates the whole thing. It's just incredible. It's